Hey everybody, Frank back here, and we haven't done this in a couple of months, but felt it was needed because there's been a lot of people asking some questions about different flavors. So let's bring it on back. Let's bring back flavor today. And today we are doing some cheesecakes. We're doing TFA cheesecake graham crust. And here's a more obscure one that a lot of people don't even know exists. TFA cheesecake. Yeah, just cheesecake. No graham crust, just regular cheesecake. Uh, we'll talk about the differences of these. Uh, rough about to tell you, if you're looking for that graham crust and you're looking to push that note and you want a little bit of cheesecake, a little bit more of a balance between the crust and the cheesecake, then you want to go with the TFA as compared to some of the other cheesecakes that we'll talk about later this week. All right, let's go down. Let's look at some notes and... We'll talk a little bit more about it, and then we'll get out of here. All right, let's go. All right, gang, here we go. We got cheesecake graham crust from TFA or TPA, however you want to say it. No warnings. I mean, we'll look at a couple of notes, but we pretty much know that yeah, median's about three percent in this flavor. You, yeah, I mean, you could use it single flavor, but. I don't see any reason to. The flavor's been around a while. Let's see, there's notes from 2016. I know it goes back even further than that. Different from the original, which we'll talk about. It has a more pronounced graham note, which, you know, that's what I said about. It's very, very graham cracker heavy. Uh, let's see, there's a bunch of notes you can find on it. Let's say looking at all this, and because, I mean... It, it's a cheesecake with graham crusts. You know what it is is what it is. Let's get out of all that. Let's go down. Wow, there's tons and tons and tons of people talking about. Let's common pairings. Of course, now the internet wants to be slow. Here we go. Bavarian cream, strawberry ripe, vanilla custard, sweet cream, swirl, cap vanilla custard, super sweet, anywhere biscuit, uh, cap. Sweet strawberry and sugar cookie. I've seen this used in all these different ways. And popular, let's see, there's 8,024 uh, public recipes. All time highest rated recipe. And of course, the internet wants to run slow tonight. You would think with all this internet that I would do way better than this, but there we go. Strawberry Fog from 2015, Spectrometer 308. On that one, I guess it just edges out Mother's Unicorn Milk. And that's what you're going to see a lot, a lot of the older recipes that have graham crust in it. You know, graham crust cheesecake, you're going to see a lot of unicorn milks and strawberry fogs and stuff like this. Say so strawberry fog, rather basic, strawberry ripe, vanilla custard, graham crust, uh, graham crust cheesecake, and Bavarian cream all TFA, a 20% mix. And six years ago, that's very common. Uh, let's see, the mother's milk. This one's probably going to be very similar, very similar recipe. The only difference is they threw some sweet cream at it and comes up 26%. Once again, it's a six-year-old mix. Uh, not Charles Manson, strawberry shortcake bar. Here's a classic. 18.5%. Let's say it's almost six years old. You can see everything there. It uses the graham crust at one and a half just to, just to help get a little bit more of a cream, a little bit more mouthfeel. To go with the Bavarian cream and the swirl. And I think that's what the yellow cake's probably doing. Well, the yellow cake's giving you more of that, you know, that bake, bakery note, that, and the biscuit -ness for the shortcake bar. Oh, uh, let's see. We got Fresh 03, Cussing Out Nana. I, this was the first banana mix I ever did four years ago. This came out, and this about the time I mixed it, too. I think I remember this was, this might have been on one of the, um, Fresh from the kitchens. But here you see cake batter from Capella, vanilla custard, cheesecake graham crust at three, Bavarian cream, banana nut bread, and banana cream. This is a really good banana pudding with some cheesecake. Uh, 
Let me see. So we see it's very popular. It's nearly 200,000 private recipes, 8,000 public recipes. Now let's go over to this. This is just cheesecake. This isn't the graham crust, it's cheesecake. Throw these percentages out the window. Do not, do not, do not mix this at 3%. It's it will be disgusting. It, you will you could vomit. You will not like this flavor at three percent. I promise you, absolutely promise you that. Don't even look at all these notes. So some a lot of these notes are really dated. Common uses. This is not a very highly used flavor anymore. I can tell you that. But here you can see Bavarian cream, strawberry ripe, graham crust cheesecake, which we'll talk about that in a moment about how i how i think this flavor is used best sweet cream graham cracker uh vanilla custard sweetener strawberry you know all your usual suspects there getting into some recipes only 708 public recipes with this flavor this is how i don't know if obscure is the word but it's not very let's say there's not a whole lot going on here fresh 03 actually used it back way back 2015 in a key lime pie cheesecake and he used it two percent then now there's 24 percent flavor in this he's got key lime from tf89 and he used say using it in this you know five percent graham crust to two percent regular cheesecake i wouldn't use it that high now it doesn't say about how how long it would take to steep i don't know if anybody mentions it uh i don't believe so let's see anyway if fresh if fresh went back and mentioned it all uh let's see Let's see, someone went steep for six months. Okay, well, that happens. And I said, this is this flavor, I believe, can be used, basically used as a, as an additive to boost up that, that cheese note, basically. Let's see, I'm looking with fresh shit here six years ago. See, there's all Max VG mixes and still at 22% flavors. You know, Red Touch at 7.3, uh, Vape Wizard at a half. Now, that might knock some of the butyric note off of that cheesecake. I don't know, maybe. And use the graham crust to go with it because the graham cracker and make that graham crust and a banana cream, Bavarian cream. So, a strawberry banana cheesecake. But I would not use this flavor that high. Sorry, Fresh. I definitely. Maybe if you let it steep that long, heck of I know. But I'm thinking a half a percent because let's go back up top. This flavor is it's pukey. It is butyric. I'm not even going to open this bottle to sniff it because I had dinner and I want my dinner to stay digesting not coming back at me so that's basically i mean what's what i get from this flavor it's very butyric very strong cheesy in a way i think it's you, but you could definitely use this a half no more than one percent with the graham crust cheesecake to boost up that cheese note if you don't have let's say capella new york cheesecake which if you really wanted to push that cheese note you could use that for this I something I still need to play with. I just I may do something after I shoot after I shoot these videos tonight. Uh, and if so, I'll let it steep, and then I'll if it turns out good, I'll make it public. But that's all we got. Let's say there's Linda Marie Vapes over on ELR. Check her out. L Y N D. Yeah, I'll I'll link her in the description. Her ELR. She uh, she's a new newer mixer. She's been vaping a while. She's a really good advocate. She was asking questions in the Facebook group about cheesecakes and big discussion always starts with cheesecakes come up. It's a hot, you know, hot button topic. A lot of people have a lot of 
answers to questions about cheesecakes. So I figured I'd get this out here, maybe clear up some confusion for some people. And so we're going basically down the list. So this one's probably the most Grammy, I guess you could say. The most you new know, has the most crust note. And we'll work our way down. We're going to do three, four cheesecakes in this in this thing. Basically, the the popular ones, the most popular ones. I'm not going down into the, the nitty gritty. I mean, there's tons and tons of cheesecakes out there, and a lot of them are very good. Some of them you have to let steep before you find out how good they really are. Like I eat Loran's cheesecake. But we may do a best of the rest when uh after I do uh when I when I want to call the important cheesecakes that everyone's using right now, which is about five cheesecakes. So knock this one out. Give me another couple more videos this week. So be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers. Even though a lot of people are getting vaccinated, still don't talk to them strangers. And we'll see you on that next video, everybody. Bye.